Hi, my name is John Bannon and I'm the Northwest Regional Engineering Manager for Hawk Ridge Systems and today I'm going to be talking about how to customize your command manager. So let's dive right into it. Currently I have SolidWorks opened up and up top we have the command manager that's part of the interface in this rectangle. It's represented by a number of different tabs. These tabs represent the different areas of SOLIDWORKS that I might be in. In this case, I'm in a drawing represented by the view layout, sketch, and annotations tab. If I switch to a part, my command manager changes and I have features, sketch, and some other tabs. In addition, if I go into an assembly, I also have the assembly tab, layout sketch tab, as well as some other tabs as well. I'm just going to switch back to my drawing tab. So looking at the drawing tab, here we have the command manager up top represented by all these different commands based on the tabs that we currently have set up. In order to dock or undock your command manager, you simply left click, hold the left mouse button down on the command manager and drag it into the center of the interface. From here, I can go ahead and position this on another monitor if I wanted to in order to give me optimal design capability solutions with the interface that I currently have, maximize the workspace. I can drag it back on. As soon as I drag it back on, I have access to docking in one of three locations. On the left, on the right, or up top. And it's simply that easy. In order to do further customizations with the command manager, we can right click on it and select customize down at the very bottom. This opens up a customize window that allows me to go ahead and select options that I might want to use. In this case, I'm going to click on my commands tab and under categories, now I have access to all these different commands that represent everything I can do in SOLIDWORKS. So for example, if I wanted to go to the sketch tab of the command manager and I could select my category sketch, let's say I wanted to pick up the dynamic mirror entities and drag it, you can left click, hold the left mouse button down on that icon and drag it into my command manager for the existing sketch tab that I'm on. Now I can go ahead and maneuver these in any position that I want in order to make it more optimal for my workspace. In order to drag this off and get rid of the command, you can simply left mouse button, hold the mouse button down and move it into the interface and SOLIDWORKS will go ahead and automatically get rid of it for us. You can also completely customize the existing commands that are there by simply moving them around and SOLIDWORKS will automatically update that based on the commands you want to use. In addition, SOLIDWORKS also has some great functionality with some existing tabs, new tabs or custom tabs that you can create. This icon represents a new tab or an empty tab. You can right click on it and you can select add tab and you have an option. Let's say I wanted to create my own tab. I can select empty tab and give it a name. Let's call it custom. From here, I can use under the Commands tab and Customize, I can select 2D, 3D, and maybe start selecting some existing commands that I might find useful. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select a couple. Well, let's say that I was working with a lot of DWGs and wanted to convert them to 3D. I might want to use my 2D, 3D toolbar. And in this case, I can easily create a tab in the command manager from it, and SOLIDWORKS will load all the commands for that particular toolbar. Again, let's say I was working with fasteners and wanted to add the fastening feature toolbar to a, a tab. This is easy to do. So, so with the command manager, we can completely customize the tools that we're going to use, as well as the locations of those tabs and how we're going to use them. Here, we can go ahead and maneuver these tabs into a different position so I can get any layout that I want within my custom command manager. In addition to the command manager, we also have sizes of the buttons. And this might be useful in case you want to use a larger button or a smaller button. SOLIDWORKS will automatically update the size of it for you based on whether you're using the command manager or you're using toolbars. So in today's video, we covered how to customize the command manager. For more useful videos like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. Thanks for watching.